Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 2.2 beta server. And today we are going to be looking at this the cheapest passenger ship you can buy in the game. That's right, it's the trusty and reliable Cobra Mark III. Now, this is the smallest and cheapest ship that can actually fit passenger cabins. So let's go and have a look exactly how I have gone and installed this one. So we'll head over to the outfitting department. You can see that I have got some weapons on the ship, but this is just to go and defend itself if need be. But not only that, you can actually use this ship as a kind of just a random runner ship. It's, it can do virtually anything at the moment. So, first of all, let's go and have a look at the optional internals. So, as you can see, we can actually go and fit... I've fitted the best shield generator in here. And we've got two Class 4 economy cabins. So, that is kind of nice. We can actually go and, if we have a look in here at passenger cabins, we can fit either economy, business or first class. The thing is, the economy class cabin has a cabin capacity of 8, so it can have 8 passengers. Business is 4, so half, and first class is 2. So you're going to be really limiting yourself at with the first class cabin being this small. Now, you might come across those kinds of passengers that require first class and there's only a couple of them. That's fine. Then you can just swap it over, really, I suppose. Because it doesn't seem like it's going to be costing all that much. First class cabins, I believe, will be about 150,000 credits. Because bearing in mind, this is the beta server. And everything on the beta server is only one-tenth the live server prices. So, move the decimal point over one will be 149,710 credits. So, these prices are deceptive. And it'll be about... 49,000 for the business class and about 16,000 for the economy class. So it's cheaper to just get the economy class, but it really depends where you are and what you can pick up, really. So let's go have a look quickly in the passenger lounge and see what missions spawn here that we could actually go and get. Now, there's not a great amount that we can pick up, and in total, there's actually only five. So I'll have a look down here. Oh, go. We have 15 turrets we could go and take. So that's great. That's just a bulk mission. That's four hours, four minutes. Uh, the payout for this one, there is 170,000 credits. It's not too bad. But we also get micro microweave cooling hoses. And yeah. So if we went to pick the cabin here, we could basically just put them here. And that would take all but, all but one of our cabin spots. If we went back again, we could also go for potentially this guy. Or this girl, even. So she is a criminal mastermind. Okay. So, this is the first time I've actually seen a criminal in here. So, let's see. Unfazed by danger. Hull damage is unlikely to affect passenger satisfaction. Okay. Laid back. Delays are unlikely to affect passenger satisfaction. Low value target. Passenger isn't likely to be sought by hostile forces. Secretive being scanned will reduce passenger satisfaction and criminal. Transporting this passenger will be seen as an illegal action in most systems. Indifferent to any legal actions while performing, well, performed while on board. Okay. So I was wondering if we had kind of criminal passengers and it, we do. So that's kind of cool. And here we get... Wow. 700,000 credits, all but the kicking and screaming, and some microweave cooling hoses. So, we'll go into economy. Passenger count 7. So, we could go pick a cabin, and we could drop them into one of these two cabins and still have the other one free. So, that's awesome. So, yeah, let's actually go and accept that contract. And we can go and see what else we have active here. So we could go and pick any of these, and these could just go and be dropped into the second cabin. The only issue is that these are all going to be extremely demanding, we don't want to have that, really. So, oh, another criminal mastermind. So that is quite amusing. 
So, and this is nearly a, a nearly a million credits as well. So we could go pick a cabin. There we go. And there we go. Just to go and fit the occasion, I have gone and changed the paint job on the ship. <laughs> So we're going to be running criminal masterminds around. We might as well look the part. But anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video because it's it just goes to show that you don't need big fancy ships in order to go and transport passengers around. You can quite happily go and have just a Cobra Mark III. I mean, a Cobra Mark IV would be even better. Even a Viper Mark IV would go and fit passenger cabins. So... Like I said, you don't need the Beluga or the Orca in order to do this. Those ships are just better at it. But any ship, Cobra or up, as long as you've got at least a Class 4 internal, is going to be able to fit cabins. So anyway guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it somewhat amusing. Like the video if you've liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you, that's what the comments are for. But anyway guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf, you guys have been epic, I will see you soon. Until next time, Commanders, keep flying, and stay shiny.